It's now 2017 and I'm 28 years old and I want to start manufacturing my own products and start the Grey Malin Home Collection. And what I found out very quickly is that the buy-in is really high. Unless you have a large distribution, it's really silly to spend all this money on products that you might not be able to sell. I fortunately landed a meeting in Dallas at the Nima Marcus headquarters. This meeting was really important because if I could get Neiman Marcus on board with the Grey Mail and Home Collection, then my buy-in for all of the quantity would be much less risky. At the meeting, I thought I was only going to be speaking with one person, but actually it turned out that there were 10 executives in the boardroom. It was scary, but they loved my presentation and they began to buy in to the new Grey Mail and Home Collection. Being an entrepreneur is full of highs and lows I remember when I was in Dallas after that Neiman Marcus meeting, I went out to dinner with my parents and I was so excited. And my mom asked me, you know, Gray, like, are you doing okay? How's, how's it going at home? And normally I would just say, oh, everything's great. It's, it's perfect. But I had this sudden just moment where I looked at my parents and I, I couldn't lie to them. I, I wasn't doing okay and in fact I had just been like very overwhelmed and you know Jeff had a really successful career and he was the lead business analyst for retail technology and finance at Disney and then Mattel. I never would have imagined he would be interested in possibly giving up to help come and support me at Grey Malin. At the end of the day, I desperately needed someone I really could trust. Yes, he still works here today. <laughs> We're still married. <laughs> he is the chief operating officer. You know, when I'm going on shoots to some amazing locations, sometimes that affords the ability for Jeff to get to come too, and he can act in his role, but also as my husband. So it's been incredibly rewarding. And yeah, there's no denying it has its like tough times too. Sometimes I'm just like, excuse me, I'm the boss. <laughs> but it really has been an incredible journey working together as teammates, colleagues, and as husbands. After Neiman Marcus's buy-in, I decided to invest in opening a booth at a trade show in New York City, where I was hoping to find more stores who were interested in carrying Grey Malin products. At the show, we displayed our tray collection, our coasters, our iPhone cases, our beach towels, our luggage tags, and even our holiday Christmas ornament. After the five-day show ended, we had opened over 50 new accounts, and there was no doubt that the Grey Mail and Home collection was quickly expanding. What was really great about having Jeff on board was that he was able to take over our website redesign that had been in the works for over six months. I wanted to not only add a new section where you could purchase Grey Mail and Home products, but also an amazing lifestyle area where I could share blog posts and inspirational ideas for my audience. With the website under control, I began working on a very exciting second coffee table book called Escape. Unlike Beaches, this book would feature all of the aerial photography that I had taken around the world, including urban parks, ski mountains, surfing destinations, new beach locations, the salt flats, and just so many different types of escapes. I remember choosing the cover of the book, which was a single female swimmer out in the waters of Bora Bora, and it felt like such an ideal escape. And I really wanted this book to transport my audience from their coffee tables to somewhere that was not just a beach. Another exciting product that I was working on at the time was the Grey Malin Sprinkle Carry-On Cocktail Kit. I was on a flight home for Thanksgiving to see my family and I had brought a thing of baking sprinkles in my carry-on bag. Mid-flight, I ordered a cocktail, was very bored, and decided to rim the glass of the cup 
with the sprinkles, like salt on a margarita. And I took a photograph of my hand in the window of the airplane and posted it with the in-flight Wi-Fi. By the time I landed and checked my Instagram, my jaw dropped at the social reaction to the single photograph. It had simply gone viral. People were like, what airline are you on? Is it Sprinkle Airways? How can I get on this flight? Where, where can I get this cocktail? And I started to think, what if I could create a cocktail kit that people could fly with and create their own fun in-flight Sprinkle cocktail? Working with a company out of New York City, we began to create the kit. So anyone who had the kit could create the same photograph that I had taken of the Sprinkle Rim cocktail in the air. Little did I realize that this one product would inspire a whole new art collection for me, which is called Bon Voyage. I had never shot portraiture before, and this idea came to me where I thought, Gray, what if you could do a portraiture series of pop cultural icons, and all you see is their hand in the window of an airplane, and all of the details that you see in just the cocktail they're holding, and the clothing they're wearing would be their portrait. So for the very first one, we flew from Los Angeles to Napa and we shot icons like Jackie Kennedy Onassis, Audrey Hepburn, Andy Warhol, Michael Jackson, and my favorite, Edie Bouvier Beale from the movie Grey Gardens. You know, most people don't realize that we actually shot these images up in the air at like 30,000 feet. You try holding a cocktail without it spilling. <laughs> it was really fun bringing these characters to life with minimal props to create their portrait. What's interesting about this series is that it was so different for me from my other work that we were scared to release it, not knowing if my audience would like it. And we waited two full years before we decided to finally launch it on the website and it has become so beloved. We are now in our fourth version of Bon Voyage with over 30 pop cultural icons shot. I even have it hanging at my living room at home. Between our luggage tags, our cocktail kits, and the new Bon Voyage series, there was a real identity of travel that was blossoming within the Grey Malin brand. And I decided I really wanted to make a luggage collection. So, we began chatting with a popular new luggage company called Away, and Away was interested in a three-piece collaboration that would have my photography on the inside of the luggage. So we created one with a water image, one with a snow image, and one with a beach image on the inside. When we first started talking to Away, I was a little bit scared because they were brand new. But by the time the collection came out around holiday, Oh my gosh, they could not have been more popular. And guess what? This collaboration of luggage sold out immediately. We still get people requesting for the Grey Malin X Away luggage collection. Another exciting moment during this year was when we started to collaborate with brands such as Vov Clicquot and La Durée. And through my social media, we connected and I asked if I could create a fine art collection of some images featuring the champagne bottles. And after that was successful, we also got in touch with Lingerie Macaroons and we did a Grey Malin X Lingerie Special Macaroon Box. And we also created a Grey Malin X Lingerie Special Edition print. We then sat down with a very special company named Disney and began to work on a fine art project where I wanted to create a red carpet scene shot from above. We worked in a soundstage here in Hollywood where we had over 50 models in black and white evening attire, almost like you were at the Met Gala, but watching from above. And we even shot an image with Minnie Mouse in celebration of National Polka Dot Day. The great thing about working with Disney was that they have quite deep pockets. And I suggested that we also create a video. And this would be my very first ever video project. So I worked with my friend who's a choreographer and we did a dance segment that was 15 seconds long featuring Minnie Mouse and it all came out and it was so, so cool to have not only collaborated with Disney for this video project 
and with Minnie Mouse, but also to create this stunning red carpet scene from above. After doing the Disney collaboration and working with models, and then seeing the success of my Bon Voyage portraiture collection, I started to think it would really be amazing to start creating sets and vignettes with different people that I could actually control, almost like a mini movie set. And my imagination took off into a new creative place I didn't see coming. I hope that by hearing these stories, we are able to connect and that by listening to this whole journey, you are able to understand the value of your art. It's so much more than a photograph.